Player 2 has entered the game. What is up Vikings? I am Player 2 and in today's Valheim Quick Guide you will be learning how to concoct every potion or mead in Valheim, all required crafting stations, each steps needed to craft the consumables with their buffs which you will need for some parts of the game, as well as where to find every ingredient you will need for the recipes. And keep in mind that if Valheim tips, news, and gameplay butters your biscuit, consider subscribing. I upload new Valheim videos almost every single day, stream it live to play with my community, and discuss it on our Discord. All links are in the description below, but let's get started. And be aware that this video is carefully timestamped, so feel free to skip ahead to whatever information you are looking for in this video. Now, the first thing that you'll need to have crafted is a workbench. The second prerequisite is a forge, which you'll need stone, coal, wood, and copper to craft. For the coal, we will need to build a fire kiln, which will require sirtling cores that you can find in the early game within dungeons scattered all over the Black Forest biome. You will find copper deposits you can mine in this biome to create copper ingots, and we will need to make bronze in a moment. So while you're in the Black Forest, actually go ahead and travel through the creek beds and shorelines as well to mine for some tin. So back at base, throw some wood for the coal into your fire kiln for it to spit out some coal for you. Then craft a smelter to make ingots. This will also require sirtling cores. Once it's up, throw the copper and tin ore into the left side and throw coal into the right side for fuel. Use the copper ingots to get the forge up so that as soon as you have it crafted, you can start making bronze for the cauldron and the fermenter. You will also need resin, which is easily gathered from graylings and gray dwarves and fine wood, which is gathered from beech trees. And if you haven't chopped one down before, make sure that you're doing it with at least a bronze ax, which you can make from your forge now that you have all the materials that you need. Head back to base camp and first, craft yourself a fire, then build your cauldron over top. The cauldron must be placed over the fire for it to function. Then build your fermenter. After you have both built, Pop into your cauldrons menu and see what recipes you have. You will only have recipes for meads and stews that you have made the ingredients for. But luckily, I plan to guide you through all the ingredient locations for every consumable very quickly. So your cauldron will be broken up into two types of consumable, mead base and stews. The stews are simply crafted within the cauldron. You have queen's jam, it's comprised of berries, found in the meadows biome and blueberries found in the black forest. You have serpent stew, which of course you will need cooked serpent meat gathered from a sea serpent in the ocean, mushrooms, which are found all over, and honey from beehives in the meadows. Carrot soup, which will only require mushrooms and carrots. Carrots are one of the only farmable crops in the game. In the black forest, you'll find carrot seeds of which you will need to plant. Using a cultivator crafted from bronze and core wood gathered from pine trees in the Black Forest, this can be crafted at the forge, not the workbench. Equip it and till up the land with left click and then right click to select the carrot seed and plant it. You can also make sausages, which will require entrails gathered from draugr in the swamp biome, raw meat gathered from either boar or deer in the meadows, and thistle, which is the glowing blue all over the Black Forest. And lastly, the turnip stew. For this, you will only need raw meat and a turnip, the seeds of which can be found growing in the swamp. Now onto the potions and the mead. For the mead bases, the first ingredient you will probably notice is all of them need honey. This means you will have to craft a beehive. That way you have a never ending source of honey. To do that, you're gonna need a queen bee from beehives. They're scattered all throughout the little abandoned buildings that you find all over the meadows. If you destroy them, when you find them, you'll obtain some honey, but more importantly, you're gonna get a queen bee. With that, you can make your beehive. Now, for the actual potions or mead bases, you're gonna have frost resistance, minor and medium healing, minor and medium stamina, and poison resistance. For the frost resistance, you will need honey, thistle, blood bags gathered from leeches down in the waters of the swamp, and gray dwarf eyes gathered from, well, gray dwarfs. For the minor healing, you will need honey, blueberries, raspberries, and dandelions, and those can be found anywhere within the meadow. 
the medium healing needs honey, blood bags, raspberries, and a dandelion. The minor stamina base will require honey, raspberries, and yellow mushrooms. Those can be found in dungeons. For the medium stamina, you'll need honey, cloudberries, now these are gathered in patches down in the plains biome, and yellow mushrooms. And lastly, for the poison resistance, you're going to need honey, thistle, necktails, gathered from necks down by the water in the meadows, they're like those little lizard creatures, and coal, you're going to get this from the fire kiln. Now the important extra step for the mead that is quite a bit more time consuming is the fermenting process. These bases will need to be thrown into the fermenter for them to be usable. They can only be in one at a time and take about 20 minutes or so in game to ferment. It isn't like smelting either where sleeping will speed up the process. You literally have to wait it all out. And don't forget to build a small shelter around the fermenter just like you do with a workbench. Otherwise it's going to say it's too exposed and you'll know it's actually fermenting when it's giving off the gases. Now for more Valheim tips, come check out the live stream. We're discovering more and more about Valheim the more we play it, and you'll find yourself quite welcome in our little community. Link is in the description below. Otherwise, check out another Valheim video coming up right now.